Hey guys, I'm Mike from Guildford Custom, based at the world famous Guildford Harley Davidson. But I'm not in, <laughs> I'm not in Guildford today. Hello, mate. I'm not in Guildford today. I'm in Margate at Dreamland at the 101 Rum Chopper Show. Mate, the show is open. The bikes are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Come take a look around. Hey, Mike. How you doing, mate? Good day. Look at that thing. There she is. If you're going to build a tough pan head, yeah. you got to paint your pink. you got to paint your pink. <laughs> Basically, okay. yeah. And yeah. How did this come about? Basically, I was in the market for another project. This came up as a project. Yep. And yeah, I just wanted to build something completely different to the flag. Yeah, the flag's more bobber style. Yeah. And it's just basically full right. I wanna, I, I love choppers. I can't get away from the fact I love choppers. Yeah. And the flathead, however cool it is, isn't a chopper. So the mission was build a chopper. Okay. And then as I say, it kind of got to the dry build stage and it was looking really aggressive. Little Z bars, longer forks. And at that point there, it was like, I need pink. <laughs> Painted right. big and changed the, changed so the whole effective. dynamics. So effective and to be fair, it still looks tough as nails. Yeah, yeah. I mean, starting up the front, classic 21 inch. Yep. 18 in the rear. Yep. Wide glide quartz. Yeah. E bars. Wassel. Yep. All the ingredients. All the ingredients. All the chopper all ingredients. The ingredients in there, yep. making it look good. What year is the motor? Motor's a 1965 FL, 65 FL. Yep. Yeah, hand chosen. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, in a VG VG frame, okay. yeah. So, I was gonna say, is it a VG? With, yeah, uh, yeah, pop. So, yeah, yeah that uh, came cool. in with the deal with the bike. The, oh, the, that's the cool. it came to me with a frame that was cracked, and the deal almost didn't come off. Um, but then he mentioned that he had a, a, a brand new VG sitting there, and I sort of done the deal and said, Well, look, I'll take the VG off you and, and I'll give you the cracked frame back to do what you wish, wish with it, yeah. you know, repair it or whatever else. Okay, so he ended up with the VG, which you know. They, they're exact replicas, aren't they? So, yeah, no, you know. absolutely, absolutely. I like the white theme as well. You know, yeah, the yeah. The kink cards, your brake pedal, and then the seat. So did you make the seat pan? I made the seat car? pan, and then that went off to uh, Baz from uh, yeah. Phoenix now, who's, who covered it in the white leather finish and foamed it as well. Mate, bike is stunning, and it was really cool seeing it rolling down the road. Yeah, no, I appreciate um, it. Here it goes, it goes so well. I mean, I, I, and again, totally different sort of flathead. Yeah. Uh, and that's where the balance comes, where I was a bit like, I love the flathead, but I mean, I love the performance of a pan motor. Both clutch hand chain as yeah. well. And I yeah. like it's just really simple. Again, no just try to keep everything quite compact and narrow, and then just the only sort of widest part of it is the front end. Yeah, no. And that front end is wicked though. Yeah. It? So cool. Mate. So again, and then- I've only gone and done it again. Yeah, I know, I? I know. I mean, I feel like I've, I've, I've hit the nail on the head with this one. Uh, and then again, this time round, done quite a bit more myself on it. Yeah. So sister bar was made by me, C-Pan, the foot pegs, which are made quite high. The, the handlebars were designed by me, made up by Sumo, uh, okay. vintage shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've actually made them so that when I'm riding, the position is I can get my elbows onto my knees while I'm cruising, a little bit more comfortable. But yeah. Hey, how you finding the show? Show's brilliant. I mean, I mean every year I come here, well, Yep, literally, you know, an hour ride for me on the way here on Friday. No dramas. Ride out yesterday was brilliant. It was good, wasn't it? I yeah. had a really good time. Excellent turnout. And, yeah. a, and, a, and every year different bikes, which is cool. Thanks for taking chatting to us, mate. No worries, man. Thanks for having us. It. And uh, yeah, yeah, well, I said, yeah. hopefully we'll be doing it again next year. Mate, I can't <laughs> wait to see what you come up with next. Mate. Yeah, man, well, we'll Thank see. You. We'll see. Thank you very much. How you doing, man? You're coming? Oh, you're fine. You having right. a good day? Uh, yes, amazing day. Are you feeling all right from last night? Yeah, yeah, I'm surviving. I'm glad oh, of shandies. Happy days, man. I had a little shandy earlier, a little pick me up, so. Dreamland, Margate. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? I'm hither. Oh my God. I mean, some of the, I was just saying. No, we we're judged just it so hard. Yeah, I, well, how can you judge this? It's, it's proper It's judgmental. It's uh, very tough. Yeah, because they're so different. It's not like, yeah. you know, it's not the same formula. They're all different. So it's exactly. Yeah, so it's exactly. different. Yeah. Um, I might just just pick them randomly. It's whatever. Yeah. That one. So we're back in Dreamland yep. for the second year. Yep. It's kicking, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. They're just busier. Like, we're yeah. saying, Dean, we seem a bit more professional this year. Yeah. 
visual screen, yeah. Loads of people, a bit more space. Yeah. Big crowd no. last year. So I, quality over quantity. I think it's nailed, yeah. definitely. Yeah. You know, the 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 format is good. Yeah, Formula is good. It's there, we're good, all right. Yeah, happy Thank days. you for having been. Thanks for the support. Hey, Appreciate you know, it. it's it's great to be a part of this such a great event. And I mean everybody's having a great time, yeah. but yeah, this is probably, you know, one of the best chopper shows in the UK. It's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Um, right. So you have no idea where you're going to go with this yet? No. Now I'm like, I'm looking now. But I don't know what to judge on, whether it's the details or like the madness. Like, I think it needs to be like, a mixture. Or just like classic or like, I don't know, the level of work and time and effort or just like really badass. Just wild. Uh, yeah. yeah, Chris's oh, bike awesome. is just tough as nails, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Look. I know you're busy. Just wanted to grab you for a minute and say hello. That was all. That's great. Thanks, Grob. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Hey, Ray. Hey, Mike. How you doing, my friend? You okay? Good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see, good to see, you. see you. Can I uh, yeah, one of these on you? Thanks, man. So. One, two. One, two. One, two. Testing, testing. How you doing, bud? Really well. How are you finding 2023 101 run? You know what? I didn't think it was possible. It's better than last year. It's wicked, isn't it? It's a fantastic show. Thank you so much for like such a lovely ride yesterday as well. Honestly, it's my pleasure. I'm just happy to be able to help out. Hey, it was I'm glad cool, you enjoyed like, it. Yeah, I know it was so cool rolling with you most of the way. Yeah, we were riding quickly, it was tight, yeah. it felt great. Fantastic. It was really good. Yeah, no, it was wicked. Jeez, man, look at this thing. So I... I love it. Yeah, I've been wanting to sort of talk to you about this for a while. Mate, it's beautiful. Talk to me, well, yeah. When did you get it? What was the plan? How did this all get started, Rick? So, I fell in love with these wheels about six or seven years ago. Okay. And so, what are these wheels, Rick? So, these are Henry Abe wheels. Okay. Made by Henry Abe in Japan in the 70s, mid to late 70s. And he ran them for Harleys, he ran them for big Kawasaki's and for some big Hondas. Okay. And I was fortunate enough to um, score brand new in box set from a supplier in the US. Wow. Fantastic. So they pitched up. So I got a Sportster wheel, 18 okay. inch, because I wanted a skinny, skinny rear end. Yeah. And then a 19 front wheel, which was for the Sportsters and the Superglides back in the day. I do. Then I had a panhead motor, and I was able to take it to Vince Summers, who very kindly agreed to do a build for me. I do. So, good old Vince. I, yeah, I showed him some pictures, I showed him some ideas. And we wanted a tough guy bike, so he showed me pictures of Roost, uh, his guy Rooster's bike. Yeah. I believe it was you know, a club bike from the 80s. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yeah, there's so much there that I wanted to use to inspire this. And then Vince said, well, okay, well, we take this. We take the wide glide forks from the era, but we put them in skinny yokes. Yeah. So it's fat and it's tight on the same kind of soy fun. This is such a tough yeah. motorcycle. I mean, and it definitely looks like a proper C jammer. And that's it. It was... Yeah. Um, we didn't want a full Frisco because we've done that, but it, it had to be high, had to be tight. And because I live out on the coast, it had to be able to do the miles so I can get, get places and see people and do things. Yeah, no, it's but, absolutely fantastic. But it's fantastic. So, is this, this an original sporty tank? Or? No, 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 this is just a sports oh. tank. We just needed a tank that was yeah. whole and good. Okay. Um, but again, went for the Rusters, again, Rusters gold, but we wanted the 80s style de decals. So rather than going for something elaborate, because. There's some amazing paint here today, yeah. but for me, I love the builds. The paint, yeah. the paint for me is secondary to the quality of the build. The quality of the paint is phenomenal. I mean, this stick did this. He's yeah. done a lovely job. No, yeah, it's I mean, amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, because these um, these decals from Rusty Gold is Belgium, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're really, really good quality. They are really good, so. um, and it's nice. It's quite thick, so you know you don't feel that. It's the little bits. Yeah. But then the bit for me is you stand at the back of the bike. And I wanted lines. Oh, this bike's geometric, but you look, you've got the line of the sea, which carries through the rocker covers, I and mean, then you've yeah. got the cam cover, the gearbox. There's a whole thing where it looks, and visually, for me, it flows. Straight lines. Yeah. Straight lines, yeah. And no, then, obviously, no. the triangles, because you've got to have, you can't just have only straight lines. No, no, of course. But, um, but the thing is, it's, it's got to look good. It's got to look tough, but it's got to be usable. You know, I can jump on this, and I will, with confidence, do 1,000 miles. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, you did, didn't you? Yeah, you well, I took it out. I went as far yeah. west as I could last year yeah. on it, and yeah, I didn't miss a beat. Right. It's everything. It's everything that I want a chopper to be for me. Tough guy, hard as nails, 
rideable, usable chopper. Yeah. It's a beautiful bike, mate. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mark. Uh, tell us about it and tell us about the build. Oh, it's a pleasure. Cheers, Rick. Hey, fine to show. You loving it? Absolutely loving it. Yeah. It's great. Great atmosphere. And you know what? I like this show because it feels inclusive. There's some amazing bikes here, but if you rock up on a really on a you rock up on something that isn't a nineteen forty special, you're not made to feel excluded. Absolutely, that's yeah. what it's all about. You know, just keeping everyone. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. This is a choppers and custom stuff. That's what it's about. And it's on your doorstep. You gotta love it. Happy you gotta love, Who doesn't love Largo? You gotta love Largo. Catch you soon. No worries. that point in the day where I thought it'd be a good idea to come and have a look around the come hither bike build off here at the 101. Just going to chat to some of the guys, check out the bikes, see what they've been doing all this time in the lead up. So uh, yeah, let's go do that. Lloyd, how are we doing? Right, well, mate, how are you? Good, good man, good. Good, it's lovely to see you. This is Lloyd Williams, amazing motorcycle builder and to be honest, uh, one of the nicest guys in the north. I wouldn't go that far. Come on, oh, well, I appreciate on. it, mate. Thank you. Um, so yeah, here's your amazing motorcycle mm. for the competition. How'd you get started with it? So North Rod built the bike for. Uh, he bought the uh, he bought the motor in America. Okay. Uh, and he had it shipped over to the UK along with some other bits and bobs. Right. Uh, and then we, I stripped it. He had a pan in as well, so I stripped the pan. Yeah. Took the frame from the pan, but it was all twisted up and bent okay. and horrible. So pretty much from from about there, just down to the rear engine mounts. That's the original pan frame, and then the rest of it obviously was made up. Um, and he said he wanted a long bike, and then kind of left me to it. And for me, long this is how long bikes should sit. You're gonna have long thoughts. It's got to be raked out. So it's got to be done right. Very long is wrong. Yeah, I yeah, mean, I, I'm not a long bike man. But no, you know, I mean, you know, looking for me, that's that. how a long bike should look. Looking at some of the other things that you've built over the last few years, I mean, they've been incredible, and then this is obviously completely different yeah. to those. Yeah, yeah. So I really like your generator shovel. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the classic yeah. style, like James. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm off in his bike. That's right Absolutely. up my street. Absolutely. Uh, I love the classic styles. Absolutely. But, you know, he's, he's into the long bikes, and that's what he wanted, and he let me have free reign with it, so it's really this nice is what he got. Yeah, it's really nice when people do that, yeah. and they just let you just go and run with the ideas. So much to take in on this bike, which yeah. is really nice. And every time you look at it, you see more details. I guess the best thing to do is start at the beginning. So we've got a spool front wheel. Yeah, front. Just, uh, just a 21 inch spool. 21 inch spool, classic. Yeah. Talk about when getting a break in there. Um, obviously, they're rigid forks. Yeah, these, these forks are wild. So it's just really nicely put together. Thank you. Like, you know, and everything flows and everything's purposeful. Yeah. I mean, the one thing I would like, obviously everything, being blended and molded, like I didn't initially, I didn't even want to put a sissy bar on it. Yeah. Um, because I, I couldn't bring myself to you know, just bolt a sissy bar, like, make a sissy bar, and have something bolted onto it. Yeah. Um, so obviously that all had to be. I decided I was going to put something on it because because of the length of the front, it just needed some weight in the back as well, just to balance it out a little. So that was the best I could think to do. Do you know what to do? To do pretty. Of yet purposeful and every single, so the bike is very yeah. pretty, but at the same time really tough. To do that is is quite difficult, Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, I mean. To get the flow it's, right it's, like that. It's, ultimately, it's a pretty bike, it's a show yeah. bike. But yeah. it's a show bike, even as daft as it looks, Yeah, you can ride it. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, you can go out on that and you can ride it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any point in not having. It's not know, an ornament, do you yeah, know no, what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, I think. When you look at some less people, you're like, oh, well, what, is, what happens with this now? Does it just go in a garage or in somebody's front room and just get looked at? But no, no you know, like... I think when you're, you're doing something like this, uh -huh. you, you just have to go yeah. all in. Yeah, I mean, I've, I think I had probably nine months in this bike about. Wow. And I've, I've never... It normally would take you three or four months to build a bike. Um, and I was... This was probably three times the length of what it would take. And this was me and my dad. My dad was... He's helped me every day. That's uh, amazing. So I nice to do that. Oh man, yeah. like because because my garage is not down being rebuilt. Yeah, he built all this in his garage, yeah, and, I, and he was there every day with me, tooling on like uh, like he. I could. There's no way I could have built this without his help. Uh, that's like, nothing. Like, and to be able to do with your dad's nice, you know. Yeah, people don't say they can do that. That's yeah, they don't. That's something that you will yeah. perish forever. Yeah. So yeah, yeah so, no. Uh, big up to North giving you that opportunity. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I can't thank him. You yeah. know, Brad for for letting me just go with it and do what I wanted. Cause it's not easy, you know, you hand that money over and like a 
your knucklehead motors go, right, I trust what you're going to do. Do what, do what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a nice opportunity. Yeah. Um, they don't come around very often, which is why you, yeah, we did this. Both hands, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, look, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. I appreciate it, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. I'm all right, how are you? Back again. Back, Back again. again. Oh, he's going for the f***ing there. Going for the handshake. <laughs> how are you, bud? All right? Yeah, good. Mate, Prickly Peach. Prickly Peach. Mate, wow. You, mate, you've done it. Yeah. It looks cool. Sure. It was such a pleasure to come down and see the bike, you know, while you're yeah. doing it and, and catch up with ne you. Nearly done, but not, yeah, not so fully done. We've added a couple of bits now, haven't we? We've yeah. added the oil tank oil stuff. Oil tank, yeah, so oil tank. Oil I think, tank I think that took like 101 hours, I think it was, to actually clip in. Make yeah. our whole tank in the end. And then a little switch housing yeah. as well. Switch Out. box to match. Yeah. Amazing. Fantastic. Um, I love this. This is on? very you. Just Louis Vuitton. Yeah, got to put that on. Got to be done. It yeah. was more or less bolted together. Obviously, no one knew what the colour was. No. Um, yeah. Matching, no one knew what the colour was. Matching helmet as well. Matching helmet as well. Mate, it the looks power. amazing. If you want to hear more about, or you want to know more about this bike, Make sure you check out the video on our YouTube channel. So we went to visit James in Wales, and there's a whole little short film on that uh, on the bike being built. Um, yeah, I'm kind of nervous for you all, to be honest. <laughs> I know why. Especially because oh. they're getting close. Yeah, so, fingers yeah, crossed. No, fingers crossed. Now. We'll see what happens. Um, it doesn't matter anyway. At the end of the day, yeah. it, was, it was a bike I was going to build anyway, and then having the 101 run was another thing for me to push to get it finished. Yeah. But then I did go like an extra level with the oil tank and I think if it wasn't going in a show, I would have just put a standard oil tank on it and probably got another level to try and yeah. try and win, obviously. Well, absolutely, <laughs> I'll do it. Um, thanks for taking top five off the booth to come and chat no worries, to me, no mate. Problem. And um, stay for being a good all-round dude and a really right, good friend. I'll try my best. Mate. Top man. Cheers, buddy. Thanks a bit. Ben Priestley, everybody. Hello. Um, yeah, I wanted to catch you in last year as well. Yeah, so I, mean, I was hiding in last year. Yeah. Just one of them things. Um, so, I mean, yeah, just like last year's video, really, uh, it's me just going around talking to all my mates. Uh, so, this is my mate, Ben. Trying not to make it awkward. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> it. And this is your bike. This um, is the bike, mate. So, yeah, the... mate, like, I've seen the photos of this as you've been building it, and it's just. And then obviously to, to see you roll up on it, just so cool. I said this to you yesterday, didn't I? This looks like it just literally just landed from Tokyo. Yeah, like I was it's never, crazy. I was, like, I've always been uh, really influenced by the guys over in Japan. I just think they're always a, little, a few steps ahead of everybody else. Yeah. They always try to do something a little bit different, but it wasn't my intention to build like something specifically any style. I just kind of, it's just kind of just a match-up of all the things I like. Completely. And it rides nice. Everybody thinks it's going to be f***ing horrible, but it's actually it's so nice on this. That's how it was nice yesterday, getting out for like a little ride. Just just playing around for a little bit. And it's, 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 it's one thing building something that you think looks cool, but then when like to get out on it and actually get a ride and it feels yeah. nice, like, then it, wor and it actually works. I mean, you just... What yeah. you want to do then is just ride what, it Yeah, I mean, I, did, I didn't build it just to sit in the night. Oh, like, I want to go riding. So, how did this come about? So, this is this is your generator mo that was in your last one, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's basically the same engine. It's the same bottom end. It's new okay. rocket boxes on it. We, we, I did have a magneto on it, but we just couldn't get it to run with the mag, so... Back on the coil, mm -hmm. but it's new gearbox. The, the frame's the same frame, but just cleaned up a lot. Same forks, same wheels, but they've all been redone. Yeah. Everything else is new. Looks amazing. So, what was the idea behind your paint scheme? There was no idea, mate. I just got really carried away. And uh, I always wanted to try the marble dipping thing. Yep. So, we messed around with that. Me and Sammy just sat in the shed with a bucket, like a little tiny little bucket this size. Yeah. I just spent a whole day trying to work out how to do it. And then eventually it started to work. And I just dipped everything. Brilliant. I tried to dip the dong and everything. You know, like. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. I mean, I love every piece of it, front to back. I mean, it just flows really nice. I mean, this piece is so cool. Yeah, man, I, I, I seen them years ago. Um, it's Tom Porco in Japan, um, Sam cast them all. Yeah. And I wanted one for Sabi fight, but she, she wasn't really feeling it. Um, and then I lost the, I couldn't remember what the company was called. And then I found them again, got one for mine. And it's like, yeah, it's just really nice little parts. He's did some really good stuff. Crazy little fires, all the different. Yeah, there was a different Frank. 
yeah. Frank gifted me them. Well, oh, we, wow. had, we had to we had to adjust them a little bit. They were a bit they were a bit narrower, so we, we remade them from the top up, just so I could get my brake lever on. Before there was the bend here, so the brake was sticking up in there. Amazing. Uh, yeah. And then butt seats, butt seats, yeah. butt seats. Yeah. Good old Joel. Yeah. Picked him up from the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I met him yesterday, so, man. Yeah, yeah it was good. Nice. Right. That was yeah, a gift from somebody else as well. I, I traded a frame for it. Uh, oh, really amazing. It's a gift from my mate, and we just offered it up when I, I had the bars and the seat, and it, it was, the rest of it was kind of loosely together, and we just offered it up with that tank, and it just sat really nice. Yeah. So it's just yeah, it's just kind of come together with like, like bits I've been collecting. I mean, I've been collecting parts for spike like eight years. Yeah, no, it's um, sad. So what's the bike called? A Kuchi. Kuchi. Yeah. It's a Japanese sea serpent. A Japanese it jumps over ships and drips oil all over them. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Fancy. I hate naming bikes. They always cringes right. me out. But we, we were sitting having a small yeah, one. And I was cool. just like looking at it. I just stopped in it. They just came up. I was asked, "Perfect. That's it." And yeah, that's what I did, wasn't it? I love it. I'm done. I'm done for a while. This is my last one for a while. For a while. Yeah. There's always one more bike. Yeah. I just ask my wife. <laughs> Thanks, man. Lovely to talk to you. Yeah. How you mate? See this bike. Um, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the world. One up. Hello. Hi. How are you? Too bad, mate. Tell us about your bike. Um, it's a uh, it's a motorbike. It's the thing I made. 1962 Triumph, Thunderbird. Yeah. Talk to us. Where that? Where did this bike come from? How uh, did you get started with this? Uh, so the front loop motor and gearbox came from Sheffield through a Facebook marketplace ad. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Charlie had some uh, forks that he'd made a couple of years ago as a uh, as oh, a so about. Um, thoughts, yeah, so these were, Charlie made these as an exercise in engineering a couple of years ago for the first 101 um, and they've been sat in his workshop um, and I decided to uh, steal them and do a refresh so we hacked the head tube off, um, re-raked the frame, made a, made a headstock, re-raked the frame, put these forks on, um, I narrowed up the bars that he had made, made some nuts and stuff for him, yeah. um, I then Went to pile, fabricating a new bolt on hardtail um, using the original factory bottom of the, like the bottom frame huggers. Um, made all the hardtail, made a mud guard, uh, moulded the tank, sandcast the sea, fabricated the sissy. You sandcasted this? Yeah, so this is all sandcast, the sandcast the battery box on the other side. Wow. Um, wow. Hand fabricated the manifold. Oh. Basically, every part is cut or welded or reshaped by myself in some way. When you started this, was this? purely to do come hither or are you start um, yeah basically i was yeah. like it's a bike i brought on the on a cheap whim um so i had the motor and tranny and the front loop of the frame and i knew that everything else was basically going in the bin amazing um top end of the motor actually uh because i'm poor as and have to make everything <laughs> i made uh, the head that was on it was the original thunderbird iron head which was worth a couple hundred quid yeah so i sold that because i got a 50 quid alley head that had some holes drilled in it on ebay uh, then I, I ran with the uh, the couple of random holes and drilled the rest of it out. Um, Do you know what? They, 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 gave it a home hone and some new pistons and uh, refreshed the motor. This is such, you know, it's nice to, to see this stuff and hear these stories about how you get hold of this stuff. Because, yeah. you know, to be honest, I mean, look, I know some of the stuff that rolls out of our workshop at Guildford Custom is pretty wild and expensive. But, you know, with a little bit of know-how and uh, an insane amount of luck. A lot of time. You can... You can, you can, a lot of time, you can put something together for, for not a massive amount of cash. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's your own. 400 uh, hours into it, probably. 400 Maybe a few hours. more. <laughs> but, you know, it's a wonderful pastime, isn't it? I mean, Most yeah. stuff. I mean, I know, look, we all get it's, it's frustrated. It's a full-time hobby. Yeah, it's a full-time <laughs> hobby, yeah. We all get frustrated with stuff. So, but at the same time, you know, when you look back on even when things are being difficult and they won't fit right or the part won't, you just can't make the part right. When I mean, you're the best, said that's kind of the best thing about making yeah. stuff is that when everything's you're made to fit. Yeah, well, when, when you're all said and done and you finally got that right, yeah. and you look back on it proud. So, paint scheme, how, how did this come about? What, what, um, I, mean, I just I wanted to do a big chopper, so uh, I brought her Amazon airbrush and painted it. And this it. is you? Yeah, I've done everything. Yeah, I've done Amazing. everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, just time. Lots so and lots of time. Beautiful bike, and uh, I'm sure we're going to see this ripping around a bit. Yeah, as I say, it's, uh, it's all up and running and works and you know, nice. does, does the thing. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking no, us through your bike. Um, no worries. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, Dean. Hello, mate. How are you? Are you from the world famous 
Bill Ford Custos. It's you, isn't it? I saw you on the, on the big screen earlier. I was on the I'm on telly, oh, Mom. I'm on telly. telly. How are you, mate? Okay. I'm very good. It was well, uh, hungover, but yeah. It's lovely to see your face light up as you came out of the gate of the airport. Thank you for the sign. You are welcome, my friend. I had to hide it from my mum, but yeah, thank you. But you told me you were going to put it up in the booth. Yeah, I did. It's yeah. too risque. Mate. But, um, hey, we're back in Margate. I was just saying, uh, Scott, we're back at Dreamland. Um, yeah. What do you think? You loving it? Mate. Formula's, formula's good. Formula's good. How was the ride out? Because I didn't get to go. The ride out was brilliant. Okay. And it was really nice to actually go this year. Yeah. So I had a few problems with my motorcycle last year. So usually the only bit of the video with me in is me kicking my bike and then everyone left. But never mind. So you did look good kicking it. Well, you know, one does and one can. You having a good time? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I think the array of motorcycles is fantastic. And we got twice as many people. A lot of vendors are happy, everybody's stoked to be here, and that's the main thing, really. We're just like absolutely bringing people together and having a good time. I mean, obviously, you're not going to give it away, but have you got a pretty good idea of where you're going with your boat? Or? You know what? It's, tough, all the, it's really, really tough because they're all really nice bikes. Um, and just as a like a little, like, I think the Unicorn Flake Sportster is it's so cool and it has so many neat little details on it. I, I'm just, just looks really good fun, doesn't it? It's a good fun motorcycle. It also looks like a show bike from the Sixers, but then again, so does this Triumph, and so does all the other bikes here. Yeah. So it's a so, very difficult one. Yeah. Also, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. It's very difficult. Have another beer and then just pick one. Good idea. Perfect. Cheers. See the pair. So one of the nice things about the 101 run uh, this year is we've been able to bring in international guests. Yes, sir. Max. How you Thank, doing, you. Man? Thank you. Thank you. So for uh, me. Max of 4Q. Yes. Conditioning in uh, San Francisco. Oakland. Oakland. Yeah. Oakland. Yeah. Oakland, California. Yeah. So what do you think of the show? Show's good, man. The ride was beautiful. We had a good time yesterday. You know, didn't we? the ride and the show is a good combo. Absolutely. You just yeah, go definitely. to the show, you kind of forget why you're at the show. Yeah. But it's good to see the surrounding land, Absolutely. meet the people that actually ride a motorcycle. Yeah. And then come about. to the show and see what they make. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. No, it's um, it's been a really good time. It's nice for you to have been able to come over as well and check it out. And you're trading as well, aren't you? You got a yeah. little booth here, which yeah. is cool. So, um, yeah. What are you working on at the moment? You got anything in, in the mix that you're doing? Yeah, I have a panhead that I'm building a 49 uh, for a show, uh, Virginia City Roundup. Okay. But it's not like I'm never trying to win the show. No. Just try to build something nice that's rideable. My paint work, my fab work. Um, yeah, I'm working on that. I got a 41 knuckle that I'm working on for someone. Amazing. So yeah, cool. yeah, you do. I mean, I followed you for a long time, long, long time. And then I remember meeting you at like the first assembly, again, like, like a sign post. I had my photo taken with you. I was fanning out a little right. bit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and now I see you at like I've seen you at Flanders in Belgium, and right. you know we get to chat. Like I see you maybe once a year or something, which yeah. is really, really nice. And. I've been waiting to see you and I was hoping I'd get to chat to you because I wanted to talk to you about the knuckle. Mm. The sports, the knuckle. Yeah, the it's orange knuckle. Amazing. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. Bike. And you. I messaged like when it, you like put it up. Yeah. I was like, this thing is insane. Um, if you want to see that bike, uh, Mark, Mark did the video, didn't he? Yeah, Mark yeah, Kirkland so did a video um, for Dice. So Mark Kirkland uh, did a lovely short film on the bike. Uh, it's on the Dice TV, so check it out on their YouTube channel. Um, how did that idea come about? How was that? Mm, I was never an XLCH or a Sportster guy. Never okay. had one. I love the old 60s HA photos. Yeah. A lot of them are on XLCHs. I bought an XLCH, a 69, at a garage sale. Okay. Uh, it wasn't running, got it to run, started riding it around, and it's fun. Just having it's a great really, time. really fun. But it always felt a little small. Yeah. And there's like something about a big twin, the way they pull. And so I was like, man, it'd be cool to build a big twin Sportster. That, that's the thing about choppers, you know? Like, there's a couple bikes in this show where I'm like, I've never seen something like that before. Yeah, no. That's cool. But I also love the formula. Yeah. The Wassel tank with the upsweet pipes. Like, you can't really it just go kind wrong. It works, doesn't it? Yeah. It, it, you know, I mean, for me, it is all about the motorcycles and the people and the fact that it just, you know, 
it, it takes away any boundaries or, or, you know, it doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, you know, whatever your background is, it's all about the bikes a lot of the time. I yeah. Don't get me wrong, you've got the guys that are in it for the kind of fashion of it, I suppose. But yeah, but you, you, know. You, you know, honestly, because I got into it kind of alone, I spend most of my time riding alone. Yeah. A lot of people will preach freedom or brotherhood or whatever. Like, it's very individual mm. to each person. Yeah. If you have a group of friends you ride with, that's killer. Yeah. But as you know, you could be by yourself. Yeah. Well, this is one of the things I love about riding motorcycles, actually, uh, which, because with what I do for a living, it's quite social. I'm chatting to people all the time, doing stuff like this. Riding a motorcycle, especially even with my friends or without, but when I'm with my friends, I can spend all this time with my friends and I don't have to talk to them. I love that part of it too. I don't have to talk to yeah. I don't have to talk to anyone. Yeah. All I have to do is just process what's going on in my life. And yeah. I get so much stuff worked out yeah. when I'm just riding my bike. Yeah, you're in the now more than usual. Absolutely. Yeah. It's nice to be in the wind. And, yeah. you know, definitely. For Max, sure. it's lovely to talk to you. Yeah, Thank nice you to talk to you time. too. Of course. Appreciate Thanks it. for I'm getting so me glad. out here. Mate, I'm so glad you had to a great out. time. Yeah. That was brilliant. Um, Appreciate it. After party then. Yeah. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Where is Cheers, it? man. I have no idea. Okay. We'll, ask we'll find it. <laughs> All right. Cheers, mate. So we just got to chat to Max, which was really nice. Um, also, on the international guest list, all the way from Sao Paulo, Brazil. That's a Hello. good introduction. How's it How going, buddy? That's so good. good to see you, man. It really is. Oh, mate. So I get to see Paulo two, three times a year. We get to hang which out. Which is fair. Which is nice. Which is nice. You know. I see you more than some of my huh? <laughs> friends here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But yeah, no. Um, flew in from Sao Paulo, bought some helmets, joking yeah. helmets. Pretty much it's a standard chopper issue Thank helmet you. now. Thanks, man. Let's be honest. You know, I have two of them that you've beautifully handcrafted for me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. What do you think of the show? I, f I love it. It's I just amazing, love coming it? here in Wales and then. Yeah. This is my first time here. You get to ride the bikes that you hook us up with, which is amazing. Hey, you know, it's our pleasure at Lynn to hook you yeah. up, and we've been doing it for. It's, God. How it's really a privilege like for me now, like, to come yeah. over and then get bikes and get taken yeah. care of by. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But don't worry, we got you covered this year too. Okay. So you're all good. Um, I want so a you... head chopper this time, okay? Oh, let me see what I can do. Yeah. I, 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 I'm <coughs> sure I've got one of those I'm lying joking. around. Um, so. You went to Brands Hatchley Track Day. Uh -huh. That's because you're pretty heavily involved in the superbikes in Brazil, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. So, talk us a little bit. How did you get involved in that? I mean, I know you got passion for racing, so we're both kind of like Barry Sheen nuts yeah. and stuff. So I've always loved like either choppers or race bikes. Yeah. Never much in between. Okay. And uh, I like all kinds of racing, like Formula One and everything. So I used to do a couple of track days, yeah. but then a friend of mine, he was like, you have to come race. You're, you're okay to race. I was like afraid I wouldn't even qualify. Yeah, okay. And he said, you, you can do it. Right. And then once I started, there's like... Snowballed from there, and well, now you're out yes. racing every weekend. So are you in like a series out in Brazil? Yeah, it's the super bike it's series, like, kind of like the British so super the Brit bikes, yeah. yes, but the same thing. Oh, okay, amazing. But I race in uh, like a rookie class. Okay. I don't race like cool. the pros. How are you getting on this season? Huh? How are you getting on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm doing. Just, I, yeah, I'm I not do lost. Again, you know. <laughs> Brilliant. <man. clears throat> no, that's cool. No, it's so cool to. Wait, then um, the hooky, rookies aren't the best, but. Well, there you go. That's all right. That's all we needed to know. That's all. I, I, I'm, it's not rookies. It's just super bikes. Oh, you know, cool. again. That's cool. You don't say that. So. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you ride around the mean streets of Sao Paulo? The Panhead. The Panhead. What year's your pan? I have a 51 and a 57. Lovely. And that's all I have. So I have to make them reliable. Are they both, one of them was painted by Max, wasn't yes. it? Yes. As well, which is the, really nice. The one with the Springer. Yeah, that's lovely. Which is the first one I got, so it was like yeah, a big deal to me. Yeah, you've had that for a long time, that. Yeah. But I kind of enjoying the other one. It's the stroker is fast, so. Yeah, amazing. It's so good to have you here. Yeah, um, man. So Thanks for having it, me. You know, and, uh, we're after party in a minute. I kind of missed you. All that. Oh, I missed you too, bud. <laughs> I did. I always miss you. Um, thanks for taking thanks, the time man. to have a little chat, mate. I appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you. That's it from me at the 101 run here at Dreamland in Margate for 2023. I hope you've enjoyed our little walk around and chats with everybody here. Um, I guess we'll catch you next year.